Hi, this project is a demonstration of project management system. Project management system is designed to help in managing various projects for a company. It allows easy management and tracking of various projects running in the organization and to manage the people assigned to these projects. This application uses ASP.NET as a frontend and SQL as the backend. It manages the use of proper resource and time. This system this system maintains schedule of the projects that is the start and end date of project accomplishment and remains prior to the end date. Let's see how the project works. The two people will log into the system. Uh, one is admin who will uh, manage and track various projects running in the organization and another one is the employee uh, who are assigned to a particular project uh, he will uh, use his user id and uh, password to log into the system and he will uh, see the details about the project so let's uh, log into the system uh, now we will use the admin id and password when once the admin uses the id and password to log into the system when he clicks to the uh, login button once his uh, login is successful so let's see the first module projects undertaken over here the project id is automatically generated by the system he will specify the project name head of the uh, project the person who is uh, leading the project and the technology the project being developed and the client name and the deadline or he has to mention the deadline uh, when the project has to be completed so let's enter the project name project head the technology the project is going to be developed and the client name and you can select the date when the project must be completed end date once you filled up these details you must click the submit button these details will be stored into the database let's see the next module that is that is add new worker here the id is automatically generated by the system he will um, enter the employee's name email id and the contact number let's enter the employee name email id and the contact number once you click the submit button a uh, random uh, password will be generated password will be generated automatically and will be sent to his email id let's see the project assignment module here the admin will assign the project uh, by selecting the project id and these are the uh, worker ids were still not allotted with the project so you will select the project id and you will select the worker id here and once it clicks onto the display button the worker ids will be displayed in this uh, text box when it clicks the submit button these details will be, uh, will be stored in database let's see the worker details module we here he can view the worker id as well as the project assigned to particular worker and the start date and the finish date as well as the status of the project let's see the track project status module here admin can uh, view the status of particular uh, project as well as he can update the status of the project by manually checking the status of the project Let's see the resource entry module. Here, admin will uh, will enter about the resource 
details there are two types of uh, resource one is the people and the equipment people can be a data entry people or uh, support like that and the equipment can be uh, equipments required for the project particular project that can be scan up into etc and um, once he clicks to the uh, equipment he can uh, mention the resource name and the total quantity required for a particular projects Uh, let's enter the resource name. Let's enter printer and the quantity. Once you click submit button, these details will be stored in database. Let's uh, see resource request details. In request resource request details, here if suppose uh, some employee some team member of a project has requested a, for a resource that that details will be reported over here and uh, admin will check for the availability of this resource if it is available he will allot this resource to that particular project once he had uh, completed his allotment he will click on this delete button so these details will be deleted from the database itself Let's see the resource allocation module. Over here, we had seen there's a project ID 101 needs a two printer. So you will allocate this resource by clicking on under this module. You will select the type, it, it requires the equipment and the resource name. Printer support data entry scanner. Let's select printer requires printer. So the total quantity available is uh, five, and the quantity is uh, available is also five, and the total quantity is also five. So the project ID to select which project requires this uh, printer. So one zero one is the printer. We will allocate the quantity. This project requires two printers. Will enter the quantity and click the submit button. So once he clicks the submit button, these details will be displayed uh, to the particular uh, project. Let's see the workers uh, modules. So here the worker will enter his worker ID as well as the password which he got from from his email id once he enters the id and password he logins to the system these are the models which is uh, which can be viewed by the employees the project details the particular uh, particular he will get the project details the particular employee is working in um, here the project ID will be specified and the worker ID here will, he can view the members who are working uh, in his project as well as the start date as well as the end date of a particular project and the status about this project and the, and he can view the resource details he had requested for uh, data entry of uh, people and printer. These are the uh, resources he had requested. So he got this uh, allocation by the admin. These are the uh, details of the resource he had uh, been requested. And this resources has, has been allocated by the admin. And let's see the resource request module. Over here, um, employee will request any resource uh, needed for his project. So he will. Uh, enter the re request and you will click on to the submit button this will be reported to the admin this is how the project management system works thank you